Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to install mods on Ghost Recon Breakpoint using the Anvil Toolkit. So, the, using the Anvil Toolkit can be hella confusing at first. And I, dude, I spent day after day trying all different ways to get these mods to work. And it was really complicated, but I finally got it. So, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I figured out and how to do it. So, um... All right, first we're going to go over here to our Anvil Toolkit. And we are going to need to, this is for all mods. Go to Settings. Files. Uncheck this right here, which is Use Compression. And then um, make Compression Ratio 0. Okay, that. And then go over here and link your game to your, um, to your game files. So, like, you just uh, link that to your Ghost Recon Breakpoint directory. And once you do that, you're able to go inside. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, alright. So, once you get that, you can go inside. And then, depending on what mod you're going to be putting in, you're going to have to unpack a folder. I'll show you guys real quick. Let's go ahead and go over a mod that I just did a little bit ago, which I absolutely loved. Um... see what would be a good one to show you guys we will just go do the lasers all right so right here we got weapon reporium which has a bunch of um, different kind of weapon attachments and stuff so we're gonna go over here weapon reporium v1 and then See, Honey Badger turns into M MCX LVAW, which is cool. I'm with that. Um, I don't have many guns unlocked yet, so. Let's see, lasers. Alright. So, for the green, uh, we'll do the pistol laser. Alright, we're going to go to standalone. That's right here. Open that up. Open that up. And this right here is going to be the file that you're going to put in. So now that we have the file, we are going to go over here and unpack, let me see, hold on, let me make sure that that's the right file before we get started, alright, go to mod download history, weapon reporium, alright, so this particular mod to install it, I need to, uh, Open up the data PC resources patch at 01 Forge. So that's going to be this one right here. We're going to unpack that. And then you notice up here in the console, it's unpacking. We're going to go ahead and go into the extracted folder. These are mods that I already have in there, um, which those are fine. We're just going to go ahead and control all. And delete those ones. Alright, those are deleted. You don't need those in there right now. So. Yeah. We're going to open up the containing folder. And then once you have this, you see your extracted folder right here. If you do not have this folder, just create it. Right click. And add new folder name it extracted then once you have that folder we're just going to take the file and drop it in there like that make sure you refresh that and then once you're done refreshing it just back out back out back out close that down go back into that repack you see what I did there I went back into the extracted folder when I got back to anvil toolkit that is a very important part once you get back to Anvil Toolkit after dropping it in the breakpoint directory, you need to open it up, extract it, and repack that. Then you need to back out and repack the one that you installed them in again. This was Data Resources Patch 01 Forge. Make sure that one gets repacked as well. And it is done. Alright guys, now that we are back in the game, let's check it out. So I already had a green green laser on my PEQ. 
The one that we just put in would be the pistol laser. Let's check it out. Yep. And we now have a green laser on our pistol, which is pretty dope. I have been wanting, like, green lasers on all my uh, attachments for a while because, I don't know, I just like the green laser. It looks way cooler than the red laser. And that's what it comes down to, basically, is just, you know, your preference in cosmetics. Playing Tactical Barbie all day long. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful on how to install mods on Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, if you guys have any questions, please get at me in the comment section below. And um, if you guys need help with anything else, if I figured it out, I will try and help you guys with it too. I am still definitely struggling with learning how to install all these mods. And hopefully one day, I will be able to create my own mods and drop them in Nexus for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.